What's going on, everybody? This is Terry Stop, and uh, today I've got a couple things for you. First, we're gonna have a look at Josh Fox News uh, here in Springfield, Missouri, and uh, I don't know all the situations. He's he's been posted a lot. He's recently got some body camera footage. Uh, this here has to be the body camera footage of an officer Rose, and. Uh, well, it's a pretty interesting interaction, to say the least. The man's, uh, well, let me go ahead and get started on a video. And, uh... Talking to another deputy about a case. He's over here yelling at me. So he's got my attention. I need ID him. Okay. He said, well, since he's got my attention, now I need ID. He's got this weird, listen, this is, this dude got a hard on for the ID. And... I don't know what it is with the cops and the ID and why it's so fucking like a crack. It's so much like crack. First Amendment violation. Okay. He's I'm violating just... my fourth and you're going to let him. How is he violating I want your a rights? supervisor. You know you're not getting my ID. Do you have any way that we can run him? Because last time I remember, he had one. I can try to, yeah. No, we don't. He said he was trying to talk to another deputy about a case, and his, he started coming up and bothering him. He just wanted me to see if I can run him. Okay. Yeah, I, I just ran him because I have some tickets to give to him. Oh, okay. Do you have any warrants on him? No. Okay. Where are you from, Missouri? By the way, Josh, there's a few tickets for something. I wasn't smoking on the square. I have a picture of you. Want to see it? What's the number of picture? Uh, no, no tickets. Okay. We probably were checking a random ticket. All right, yes. Come on. You still want to ID me? I would, uh, they already, he already verified who you were, so I don't need ID yet. And I want to make sure you don't have warrants. He's, he's got information on you. Hey, you better give up. You want one of the people to get the sound off? Is there any city, city, uh, uh, violations for, for what he's doing? Not really. Um, if you were investigating something and he was... I'm gonna get Obstructing the your investigation. Yeah, but I'll just record it. You know what? Not really. You can go fuck yourself. So you think that that's nice? You doing saying those things like that? The law firm? Do you think that's that's professional? Or, or I don't have to be professional. I'm not a cop. You're gonna get a complaint. Well, that's fine. You have to be professional, motherfucker. So no warrants. You got in it. He's good. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have a good day then. Go you... fuck yourself. tickets. You better go down and write the fucking people at the Hearst building. I'm going to go back and I'm going to fucking call them. I'm going to complain. You fucking piece of shit. Piece of shit. You fucking there you go. Shit. I was watching some of the other videos. He's he's not all he's not all there upstairs and stuff, you know, um, all the time. And, and he's got some mental uh, issues. Uh, but he not wrong. You know what I mean? Because listen, but I feel like I wish he was like slow down a little bit, you know, because I've been out there. You know what I mean? You surrounded by killers. These men are waiting to shoot somebody. You moving around erratic and stuff. And I listen. I did it, too. You can go back and see my videos where I've, where I've been that I've done that, you know, um, and uh, I, I want to see good things for you. If you guys haven't subscribed to his channel. Y'all should head over to Josh Fox News. I put a link in the description. Um, show him some love. He is uh, unhoused in here, in Springfield. So he be he's he's got he's got a lot of stuff. He's got a lot of potential, and you never know what he's gonna catch because he's recording everything. <laughs> All right, so go show him some love and see the whole video. Check it out. All right, so next up, we have an update 
So do you guys remember this situation here? Well, hang on right here for a second. Are you the only one inside? Hey, listen, I don't answer questions, and I'm going to need y'all to get the fuck off my property. No, sir. Sir, I need you to come back over here now. Excuse me, can I help you? Yeah, somebody called about this Jeep out here. My they Jeep? said it's running and it's there's running. nobody in it, so they just wanted to make sure everything yeah, was all right. I had it running. I'm sorry. The police here show up on a very important investigation. There's a Jeep running in the driveway. But then the homeowner appears and he tells the cops to go away. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Well, hang on right here for a second. Are you the only one inside? Hey, listen, I don't answer questions and I'm going to need y'all to get the f off my property. No, sir. Sir, I need you to come back over here now. But they refuse to leave and instead they just arrest everybody. Hey, Christina, I still run this house. I'm going to need you to get in the house. All right, that's not happening. Go. We're getting detained. Hey, Stay back here. Stay back here. Hey, hey, back up now. Don't do that, bro. Back up now. Hey, back up now. Were they allowed to do that? Didn't they need a warrant? Let's go through it. Situation here. Well, it ended like. Well, filed a complaint, and uh, the complaint went up the chain of command, and then they didn't find anything wrong, and then I had to appeal to the civilian review board uh, through the city clerk's office. Came in a couple weeks ago, put in that appeal. Anyway, I left it with him. Told me I wasn't allowed to do it. Deal with the Terry stop. It's not so here. Yeah, it is. I came back today. I need to know if they received it, what's going on. Hi. Wow. Right. Right. Yeah, so, we need to get to a city, uh, city clerk's this office. How For what purpose? All right, I'm supposed to read this to you. The purpose of this policy is maintain a positive environment in which public visitors and city staff can efficiently conduct city business, the Bush Building. Access to the Bush Building is limited to those visitors conducting business within the building. Visitors must share specific business activity that brings them to the Bush Building. Visitors' presence must be reasonably related to the time and location and the business purpose. Time, place, and manner. Visitor access of Bush Building is limited to these hours. I got to give it to this guy here. He did a pretty good job. We had some things. I'll show that in another video. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I thought he did a really good job at trying to maintain his calm. You could tell he was getting frustrated with me. But he, uh, he did a really phenomenal job. I got to give him this Law, which are held uh, building visitors. Well, yes, we did receive it. We received it on June 25th. Okay. And so at that time, what our procedure is, we take the information, because mm -hmm. we are the repository for that, and we send it over to the police department to the liaison. There's a um, Citizens Police Civilian Review Board. They meet once a citizens. month, right? Yeah. And so this person is the staff liaison for that board we send it over to them okay and then we get notice that they received it okay and then we, we wait it. because that's our that is where our role when it stops then the police civilian review board gets all of the information they review it they make a decision and then that decision goes back to the chief and i believe to the city manager okay but so you won't get it, it come, come back, back. so you're just a Got I'm it. just by the, city the way it's been taking set note. up because I'm the records custodian. It okay. comes through my office okay. to ensure that it's maintained. So it has been received. It yeah, has been so. sent. All right. And I, I went ahead and I made a copy of this for you. Perfect. Thank this you. is what you submitted. Yes. And then this is where my office sent it. And this is where it was received. Um, Libby Harris and um, Charles Alexander are the two individuals that deal with all of these when they come in. They're the staff liaisons for that police civilian review board. Okay. And um, where are they located? They are in the police department. They are in They're the police department. They're housed in the police department. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we can make appointments with them, or how do we get find out what their status is, or 
you can contact them and I'd be more than happy um, to also take your information and email it to them. Um, this is this is their email addresses right here. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So I can get a hold of them via email. That's Absolutely. Perfect, yeah. yeah that's, you can, that's preferable. You can right so I would like to thank the city clerk, uh, Miss Anita Cotter, for being so helpful today in finding out what I need to find out in regards to my complaint. And uh, also, I will be putting the email addresses to the liaisons over at the uh, yeah, Libby Harris and a Charles Alexander. I'll be putting their um, emails in the description. Uh, and uh, yep, that's what I got. I uh, appreciate y'all being here. Uh, but the world's so gotten to journey. people like me. You know, um, People like you I'm wish I could on. just wake up and yeah, it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new.